Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Habitifillah strive your utmost to be truthful truthful with Allah Azza wa Jal by being obedient to his commands and not doing deeds that lead to hypocrisy or deeds of hypocrisy but rather strive your utmost to be truthful and sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu an Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal inna sidqa yahdi ilal bir when al bir yahdi ilal jannah when al rajala li yasaddaqu hatta yuktaba indallahi sadiqan when al kadhiba yahdi ilal fujur when al fujur yahdi ilal nar when al rajala li yakthibu hatta yuktaba indallahi and mutafakun alayhi in this hadith in Bukhari and Muslim the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said verily truthfulness leads to piety and verily piety guides to Jannah or leads to paradise and verily a man will be truthful you know being truthful consistently until it is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this man is one of the truthful ones and verily lying leads to fujur or wickedness and evil and verily wickedness guides to the hellfire and verily a man will continue to lie until it is written about him are written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this man is a liar mutafakun alayhi in this hadith of Bukhari and Muslim it shows us the importance of being truthful truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by adhering to his commandments and truthful to, uh, with regards to the creation and not being a liar and not lying about others so those two issues at hand there is those some people who fall into lying often maybe because they want status maybe they want to be accepted by the people then there's another group of people that fall into lying in that they love to lie about others perhaps for the same reason for status perhaps that they they through this injustice and dishonesty that they feel that they are superior Whatever the case may be, Allah, it leads to fujur, it leads to wickedness. And who is in a better position and in a better state than the one who is written before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, than the one who is written as someone who is truthful, whom Allah loves. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless, bless us to be of the truthful ones. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.